In this video, I'm going to explain what astigmatism means in your eyeglass prescription. As you can see, in a normal cornea, the eye is shaped like a baseball. It's uniformly round. In a cornea with astigmatism, the cornea is shaped more like a football. The curvature of the vertical meridian is different from the curvature of the horizontal meridian. In a normal cornea, without astigmatism, the curvature is uniform in the vertical axis and uniform in the horizontal axis. So in the case in the eyeglass prescription without astigmatism, you have just one number. For example, minus one. In a cornea with astigmatism, you have three numbers like this. Now these numbers look scary, but what it tells you, what it tells you is the power of each individual meridian. So again, remember that the power of the red meridian is different from the power of the blue meridian. Blue meridian here. So from this prescription, from these three numbers, you can tell the power of each meridian. So how do you do that? Well, there's rules. So the first thing you look at is the first number. Let's do the first number. The first number is called the sphere number. The sphere number. And you know that one of these two meridians, either the blue or the red, is a plus one. And the way you find out which one is the plus one, you look at the axis. So you look at the axis. So the axis here is 180. The axis is 180. So then you know that the plus one is on axis 180. So here. So the red, the red meridian here would be plus one. Let me write that down, plus one. Now to find out the power of the second meridian is not minus one. It could be confusing. The second meridian is not is not minus one. This second number, by the way, is called a cylinder. The cylinder number. We call it sil for short. The second meridian is not minus one, but the combination of these two numbers. So if you do a plus one minus one you get zero. So the power of the vertical meridian is plano or zero. Right. So then with the three numbers it tells you everything. You, you get the information from those three numbers about the stigmatism. You know that the vertical meridian is plano, has a plano power and the horizontal reading has a plus one power, plus one prescription. If you look back at the normal cornea, because the meridian is all the same, oops, let me do black, because meridian is all the same, all these meridians are minus numbers. All of these meridians are minus numbers, minus one. So let's do another example. Let's do another example. Let's say you have, let's say you have, uh, minus 1, minus 2 at axis. Let's do a little bit tricky. Let's do make it a little bit tricky at axis 30. So again, you look at the first number and then you look at the last number. So you know that at axis 30, the power is minus 1, minus 1. So let me just draw out it in red. So axis 30 is kind of like over here like this, right? 30 degrees. And then to find out the, so let me put that down, minus one here. So to find out the second meridian, the second meridian is always 90 degrees, 90 degrees away from the first meridian. So here, let me put a little sign there, a 90 degree sign. So over here is about 120 degrees. 
and to find the power of the second meridian, you combine you combine the two numbers. So minus one minus two is minus three. So the power of the second meridian, the second axis is minus three. So you have a cross here of a minus one at thirty degrees, and the minus three is at one hundred and twenty degrees. Okay, let's do another one. This time, I'll give you the prescription, the astigmatism prescription, but I won't tell you the answer. I want you to figure this out by yourself. All right, I'll post a video giving the answers later, but I want you to write the optical cross of a prescription of plus two minus four at axis 45. Oop, let me write this down, 45. So I want you to write the optical course of this eyeglass prescription. And I'll post a video of the, of the answer. Also, you can go backwards. You can go from an optical course to an eyeglass prescription. Someone can give you an optical course with the two meridians, and you can go to an eyeglass prescription by working backwards. For example, for example, let's say I'll give you an optical course. Uh, let's do this here. Oops, let me do green. So let's say I'll give you an optical course of uh, plus one uh, minus three fifty. Let me do that in red. So you can make a eyeglass prescription if you have this and I'll show you in another video. Okay, hopefully that helps.